Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today I bring to you one of the more common videos I used to do on Battlefront 2, uh, but I've decided to transfer this over to the Avengers game, um, and it's going to be ranking all six of these heroes that we currently have, from worst to best. Uh, before we start, uh, make sure to like and subscribe, uh, I'm trying to get to 50 subs by the end of the month. Hopefully you can help me out there. Um, and of course, as you can tell by the videos I've been doing a bit recently, I'm moving a bit toward Marvel and film content. I'll do Star Wars content when the Mando comes out, but until then, you might have to get used to a bit more Marvel and film content. Of course, uh, before we start, this is my opinion. All these characters I think are really good. Some just aren't too to my style. And of course, as you can see on the screen, coming in at number 6, we have Kamala Khan, or Miss Marvel. Um, at the start of this game, she won't be as important as she will be in the final bit when you have raids and mega hives, where you just need to keep fighting until you all die. And then with her, let me just show you here, her uh, healing spirit, she'll be able to uh, help her teammates, which I think will be vital. And if you're trying to play with Marvel now and get her up high and you have a good team around you, you'll definitely uh, survive a lot longer than some people that don't play this game. Obviously. Um, she's not my type of character, as I've already said. Um, she has some good abilities. In Biggin, I feel like it would be a bit more unique if she did have Polymorph as a, a intrinsic High five, I enjoy it, it's, uh, and it says, uh, powerful shockwave, and it's really good if you hold it in, increase damage. But unfortunately, Kamala, you have to come in at number six. Now, if we go over to number five, I will, uh, get there now. Uh, but whilst it's loaded in, uh, I'm hoping to get, I'm hoping to record a couple more videos today, uh, get the ball out to you this well, next week, because um, obviously I need to do school and I'm focusing on that a lot more. But we can try to record a bit more and send it out to all you people at home. Uh, I know that can be a bit difficult waiting on me. I'm sorry about that. Um, next week I'm going to review. I think it's uh, the first Avengers film and then I'm going to be discussing the problems of the first Transformers film. So I hope you'll all be looking forward to that. Uh, but until then, we'll go on to uh, the number 5 spot. Coming in at number 5, uh, we have Dr. Banner or the Hulk. Um, I feel like Hulk is a bit weak until you get to about level 30. Uh, as I've seen from people that uh, play this game, that main Hulk. Uh, his skill tree is incomplete, because um, when you get level 50, you have three leftover skill points, which shows that Hulk's skill tree was never finished in time for the game. Um, definitely at the start, like kind of how I am right now, he can be a bit of a glass cannon. Uh, can take a lot of damage and just die easily. Um, but. He does have some good travelling skills, not the jumps I expected to have. He could definitely have a better jump in this game. Maybe like one of his uh, new skill trees could be where if he chains more than 5 jumps, it'll increase the amount that he jumps by 20%. Could be a good one. But until they sort out Hulk properly, sort out his skill tree and sort out why he's such a glass cannon, and sort out... The fact that he needs to be the Incredible Hulk from level 1 and not level 30. But unfortunately coming in at number 5, it is the Incredible Hulk. Coming in at the number 4 spot, we have Steve Rogers or Captain America himself. Um, I feel like what hinders Steve Rogers here is the fact that he has the worst travelling in this game. Uh, people like Thor and Iron Man, they can fly. Black Widow and uh, Kamala Khan can use their grapple or arms to swing about. 
Hulk can jump at great distances. And Cap can do parkour. Which seems cool at the start. Like, you could do parkour and you could chain up some really good parkour skills there. But if you think about it, if you want to get to that place first, you'll be heavily behind your teammates. Unless it's an AI control Captain America. Overall, in everything else, he's really good. I enjoy his close-up battles, especially with his shield. The combos you can do are uh, absolutely spot on. Uh, he feels like Captain America. He has some good abilities. Brooklyn Brawler and Rally Cry can help you in the long run. Steamroller, a bit like Vader. Same throw in Battlefront. Just very nice and saucy. But I feel like Cap Captain America should be one of the best characters in the game if he had better travelling. And if he could destroy the doors that Hulk and Thor can because he is literally a super soldier. And has the is more powerful than Iron Man. Well, it should be more powerful than any human. But just a couple of things that uh, stop Cap from being one of the best characters in the game. But until they fix them, Cap's America is your number four. Coming in at number three, as you can see, we have Miss Romanov, Black Widow herself. Um. For me, she's kind of weak like Hulk at the start. You don't really get as much damage as you should. Her pistols do about 100 at the start, uh, which ain't the greatest. Um, but besides from that, when you actually invest time into Black Widow, she becomes a freaking monster. Like, her high caliber pistol, probably the only pistol you'll need to use. Uh, she has some really good traveling. Like I said, she has a grapple. Uh, she has some decent abilities like her uh, Veil of Shadows and Widow's Bite. Those are her best abilities in my opinion. And she's just an overall decent character where you invest time into her. And that's probably what hinders her back is that she's not the greatest at the start. But by God, um, one of the mates who play Black Widow, um, Bank Sense uh, on Xbox, uh, he has Black Widow really high. And he's an absolute god. It just shows how powerful Black Widow can become if you invest time into her. But if she was a little bit more powerful at the start, then maybe she could be bumped up, bumped up to number two. But until then, Miss Romanov is at number three. So, in the runner-up spot for today's uh, ranking, unfortunately, is Iron Man. Now, from the beta, I thought Iron Man would be the person to carry forward this game and would be kind of like the bar for how powerful people should be but he isn't that's where our number one spot will come in later on um he has some good traveling of course he can fly uh hulk buster where you get the uh missile barrages on it absolutely overpowered um he has some good fighting skills from uh, long range with his repulsors up close, a bit weaker, unless you want to style Iron Man a bit like Black Widow or Cap, where it's just up close. But that's not him. Um, he has some really good long range, as I said. Uh, very good for taking out turrets. Um, good combos, especially with his uh, repulsors and lasers. Could do some really good stuff, like if they let Iron Man shoot off his lasers off a of Cap Widow, well, uh, Captain America's shield that would be absolutely amazing um, but obviously it's a close range combat is probably what's stopping him from being number one but I feel like if they kind of tweak him a bit he could be the biggest and the best character in this game but he isn't and let me show you why coming in at number one this is is the reason why I am managed number two. Thor is an absolute beast. He has great travelling, he has some of the best abilities in the game like God Blast and Warrior's Fury. He's really fun to use, his up close combat is very saucy and nice. Uh, it's Mjolnir, it's amazing, uh, it's really good fun to swing that about 
and obviously as you can see uh, he's my highest level character um, overall he's just overpowered <laughs> just look at this absolute specimen basking in that man's greatness honestly um, four I kind of expected to be on the same level as Captain America but I'm wrong <laughs> He is my favourite character. Um, I feel like most people would agree with me when I say Thor is just brilliant. Um, I feel like Thor is kind of like the uh, the standard now for the rest of the superheroes that come into this game. Like Black Panther and Spider-Man, etc. But until someone can dethrone the God of Thunder, you're all just playing catch-up against this absolute specimen. But, as all things, as they say, all good things come to an end, and so must this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching, I greatly appreciate your time. Um, I'm hoping to do a couple more videos uh, in the coming weeks. Obviously I've said, uh, review Transformers 1, and also the Avengers film. And uh, I've also been wanting to do some hero guys for Thor and Cap. Uh, a couple of ideas I've got, so for Thor's absolute powerful one I'm going to call it uh, Asgard's Might for his more defensive I'm going to call it Odin Force of course and then for his kind of like objective based I'm going to call it uh, the uh, I haven't thought of a name for that but it's going to be something to do with me all near uh, for Cap for his absolute overpowered and strength one the super soldier for his defense based uh, I'm going to call it I haven't thought of that one either to be honest with you, I'm just trying to think of some of these off the spot. Uh, for Cap's uh, objective based, uh, gonna call it the Frontline Menace. But, until next time, guys, I'm going back into the shadows, and I'll see you all later.